This video will show you how to use and create the tax categories and rates functionality. First, click on the tax categories button in the configuration tab. Now, to create a new tax category, click the create button. For this recording, we will create two tax categories, tax category number one and tax category number two. Now go to the tax rate tab, which is located under the tax category tab. Let's create two new tax rates. First, enter the code and the name of the first new tax rate. Next, in the category field, enter one of the two newly created tax categories. In this case, it will be the first tax category. Then select the zone, for example, the United States of America. In the field dedicated to taxes, enter the tax amount in percentage. For this example, the amount will be 50% taxation. Then finish this step by clicking the create button. Now create the second tax rate in the same way. This time, in the category field, select the second tax category in another zone, for example, the rest of the world. Enter the amount of taxation which in this case will be 99%. Finish this step by clicking the Create button. Now go to the Products tab, select any of them and edit it. Then, click on the Manage Variants and List Variants buttons. Now select any variant and edit it. Next, go to the Taxes tab and select the first of the newly created tax categories containing 50% of the tax amount. Finally, save the changes and present the product on the store page. Once you are on the store page, add the product to your shopping cart. Note that the product is in the size S variant, which is the variant we are interested in. Proceed to the checkout process. Then complete the required fields. An essential element in this process will be to select the appropriate taxation zone, specifically, in this case, the United States of America. Moving on to the next checkout stage, we can see that our tax has been calculated. The tax has been charged only for the order associated with variant S. If we change the tax zone to France, the tax will be cancelled. Now, let's apply the change to the size M variant of the product. This time, Specify the second tax category and present the product on the store page. Once you are on the store page, remember to change the variant to size M then add the product to your shopping cart. As you can see, the taxation of the product is 99%, according to our settings. A tax of 99% applies to one of the two selected pants models. 